The content area is used to organize course materials that you'd like to make available to students online. You can access this area by clicking on the course content button on the navigation bar. This is the center of your course structure and the main place that students will use to access your online materials. You can use this area to create, edit, and organize modules and topics which make up your course curriculum. These items can be your syllabus, readings, online resources, or links to other course activities such as discussion forums or Dropbox folders. In the content area, you'll see three important items on the left of the screen, overview, upcoming events, and table of contents. The overview page is an optional place available for instructors to create a quick introduction page for students. If you add items to this page, it'll be the first thing that students see when they click on your course content. But don't worry if you choose not to add anything to the overview, it will not be visible by students. Upcoming events displays new and upcoming calendar items such as due dates for a Dropbox folder or quiz availability. And any custom items that you add to the calendar tool will appear here. The table of contents is where you will create all of your course content items. To create course content items, you must first create a new module. Modules are organizational units that divide and structure your course content topics. To create a module, click on either of the Add a Module text boxes and name the module. Press Enter and the module will appear in your course content. There are now two ways to add a file, such as your syllabus or readings, to a module. One is to click the new drop-down menu and select Upload Files. This will bring up a screen where you can upload files from your computer. In this version of D2L, you can also drag and drop files from your desktop into the content area. Simply locate the file on your desktop and drag it here to upload it. Simply click the Upload button and it will appear in your module. If you want to add a link to an online article or resource, click the New drop-down menu and select Create a Link. A pop-up will appear where you can give the topic a name and insert the URL of the online resource. If the URL does not use a secure server, you will probably want to have the resource open in a new window. The resource is displayed and you can get back to your module by clicking on the breadcrumb menu. In this version of D2L, you can also create new course activities such as discussion forums and Dropbox folders from this content area. To do this, click New and select the new item you wish to create, for example, a Dropbox. Enter the title of the Dropbox folder. and click Publish. From the following screen, you'll have options available for setting due dates and restrictions. You can get back to your module by clicking on the breadcrumbs menu. If you've already created activities in other D2L tools, you can link to them from the content area by clicking the Add Link To dropdown. Once the pop-up appears, click the item you wish to link to, in this case a discussion. Select the discussion and it will automatically be added to the course. To edit, move, or delete any course content topic, you can click the drop-down arrow next to each topic and select what you wish to do. From within the content area, you can now also bulk edit the contents of your modules and add dates and restrictions or unpublish and hide a file that you've uploaded. If you want to delete a module, you need to click on it from the table of contents on the left. This will give you a drop-down menu to the right of the title that allow you to delete the module.
You can also edit the title or add a description to your module, which will then be available for students to read. The new content area is thus a workspace where you can build most of your course and also the space from which your students will access your course material.